Welcome back to our conversation with Lori Trahan, the Democratic nominee for Congress in the third congressional district race. And Lori, I went on your website and uh, looking on some of your issue positions, and I'd like to try to touch on a few of the topics sure. you raised. You say you want to, quote, unlock public funding to promote smart infrastructure improvements and create jobs. What does that mean? Yeah, so this uh, this district, the 3rd Congressional District, has a long history of electing a Democrat who's focused on economic development. You go back to uh, late Senator Paul Songas, who brought the national parks to Lowell, all the way up to Congresswoman Songas, who, you know, has done a really good job working with industry. Uh, we've got life sciences in the south, manufacturing in the west, and uh, defense and high tech in the north. Um, how do we bring jobs to uh, to this district? How do we use the House Armed Services Committee to make sure that we're uh, continuing to bring much needed funding that is in in, uh, so important to the Massachusetts economy, 72,000 jobs, $12 billion. And if you win, is that the committee assignment you'll try to get? Yes, it yeah. is. Um, and it's important for the economic development, not just of the Commonwealth, but of this district. So, uh, you know, I think uh, working with state and local government to revitalize the community, uh, to invest in smart infrastructure, to get the public funding needed so that they can have the economic development projects that, that change, change their uh, trajectory. You know, with Republicans in control, maybe not for much longer, we'll see, but when Republicans control the executive branch the, uh, uh, con and Congress, they control, have great control over the purse strings. Yeah. Um, Congresswoman Songus certainly was not shy about speaking her mind and did so often, but compared with perhaps some other members of the delegation, she was less of a, of a strident voice, if you'll pardon that yeah. uh, expression. Uh, what, would your, what will your style be if you make it? You know, More I, like hers? Well, you know, it's, uh, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what opportunities are presented to me to be effective. And I think that's one thing she did a great job of. Uh, and she's given me a lot of advice along the way. But, you know, through her committee assignment, she did a lot of great things. She changed body armor so that it fit women properly. She, you know, changed the culture uh, and, uh, you know, helped transform it uh, and root out sexual harassment in our military. So I think those opportunities come. And when you have an opportunity to effective and to change, uh, you know, you just seize upon them, which is something she's done well. One more thing before we completely run out of time. Uh, you say on your website again, you want to promote naturalization and help clear a pathway to citizenship, end quote. Yes. Does that mean amnesty for those here illegally? You know, I think that uh, Congress needs to take up uh, immigration form. It needs to be one of the issues that we address first and foremost. Uh, you know, we shouldn't be talking about abolishing ICE and sanctuary cities and walls without having a discussion uh, around comprehensive immigration reform. So I do believe in a path for citizenship for the people who are here. I believe in, you know, uh, having well-defined and well-understood laws so that we do enforce our, our borders and enforce those laws. Um, but, you know, we're missing that right now. That's Congress's job, and one of the reasons why gridlock uh, is hurting our country is because we're not updating our immigration laws. If people want to find out more about you, your candidacy, where you stand on issues, how can they do it? Go to lauritrahan.com uh, or also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're on all those channels. Good luck. Thank you so nice much. Meeting you. Nice meeting you. Lori Trahan, Democratic nominee for Congress in the 